of the YouTube world. So I wanted to share a little experience I had a couple of weeks ago. So I took, you know, I took my little princess into the shop because my car needed some some nitrogen. That's what I call her, my princess. You know, actually her name is Fantasy. Yeah, because that's my girl right there. So I said, you know what? I'm going to take my car to go get some nitrogen. No biggie. And then, so I roll up at the dealership. I was like, yo, I need some air. He was like, right, I got you. So the porter took so the porter took it to the back, you know. I just made a couple hundred dollars off the pole, you know. I'm a hustler. I got to hustle and make some money. But besides the point, that's another story for another day. <laughs> so he took it to the back. Ten minutes top. Yeah, he took it. Yeah, he took it to the back, put some air in ten minutes, and then, you know, he came back. He was like, you know, you want me to check? I could wash your car. I was like, nah, 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 nah. Play. I'm cool. I'm cool. I ain't gonna wash it because every time I bring my car here, y'all scratch it up with that raggedy ass car wash. So I was like, all right, so cool. Thanks. See you around, my brother. Peace out. And you know, jump in my car. You now bust a U-turn. Head back home. I was flying past Marshalls. I was like, oh shit, let me stop at Marshalls. So I jumped like, you know, I've just made a little couple extra dollars. So I was like, all right, so I jumped out. Pull up in Marshalls, pull up my, my console, and I look, $100 missing. I was like, this is some bullshit. So, burn out the parking lot, bust another turn, head back to the dealership. I'm like, this is some bullshit because I'm pissed. I'm real pissed. So I was like, you know what, TJ, be cool, be cool, don't overreact, because I was like, you know, I want to get nobody fired, so I was like, cool out, roll, you know, because I even looked through my car, I searched up in every nook and cranny of my car, and I still ain't see my hundred dollars, so I was like, you know what, so I went up in there, I was like, I want to get nobody fired, but my money missing. And then they were like, oh, you're not supposed to leave your belongings in the car. But I was like, it was just going for like a couple of minutes just to get some air. I ain't expect nobody to go through my stuff. It's like, it's like my personal stuff. But, you know, you can't, I guess you can't expect people to have integrity or do the right thing. You know, I guess. So, you know what, they were like, you have to come back. The manager wasn't there to talk to him. And I was like, all right, cool. But I just counted as a loss. I was like, this some BS. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to count it as a loss. But there's no integrity, you know? People come in, we all out here working hard trying to make a dollar. Not because you see my dollar make it, that I made it easy. It's hard, you know, a girl gotta go in the pool and do some things and tricks. It's hard for me too. Can't just be doing that. But moral of the story for me, you'll win some, you'll lose some. That was my bad. Should've never trusted the dealership. Unfortunately, I always have some experience going to that dealership. I don't know why. I ain't going back. Or even if I do, I'ma hold on to my belongings super tight and tell these people I trust nobody. I'm a, and my car gonna be bare. There's nothing. You trying to tell me even if I leave like a freaking, you know, glasses in there, like my shades. Like, what if I had the expensive shades in there? If they snatch my shit, that's it. That's some bullshit. But that's okay. You know, lesson learned. I was like, I want to get nobody fired because he probably need the job more than me. So that was my fault. I should have never been so trusting. Lesson learned. Something. I'll learn real quick. Stop being so trusting. And I'll stop leaving my money in the car too. I ain't doing that no more. I guess I have this like, you know, I just, but it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoy my little story. Yeah, it's crazy. The life I live sometimes. But you know, I never expected that. I thought, you know, and now they're renovating. They're going to make it this super nice. Uh, dealership with a bunch of robbers there that makes sense like you go you supposed to go to the dealership for an experience you go there to experience you know the dealership work because the dealership is supposed to be like luxury fancy you know state-of-the-art top of the class elegant 
you know, sophisticated, all those things. And you don't get that, you know. Once you feel robbed, you're like, where's the class? Where's the integrity, you know? But whatever. Hopefully, moral of the story, don't leave your personal belongings in your car when you go anywhere. Take that shit with you. Now I stop leaving money in my car. So Thank you for watching. I see you guys on the next one. Bye, designer mom squad. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like if you really like this video. Thumbs up, please. And get her and merch. And subscribe to my channel. Because, you know, my sister need y'all support. So support a sister. And subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys. Stop Bye. <laughs>